Welcome Snack Attackers, my name is Jason and I have another potentially fantastic product to review for you guys today. Now normally when I microwave something like these brand new Hot Pocket- Well first, I want to remind you to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. These new Hot Pockets, cinnamon roll, sweet cream cheese filling in a flaky cinnamon crust. I hide the product elsewhere and bring it out later. But, it exploded so much in the microwave. Look at all that brown down there. That's explosion. I don't like that. It exploded and I followed the instructions to the letter. I will say for a Hot Pocket it looks much thinner. And that could, could be because it exploded. These are the brand new Sweet Treats Hot Pockets that they're trying out. Now there's another flavor but I don't remember what it is. I'm sure the editor will uh, feel free to comment it. Not comment it. Edit it right here or there or somewhere. But uh, th it's, it's interesting. You know Hot Pockets is pivoting in a new and interesting way. They're like, now we want to do dessert market. I don't know, it's interesting. I'm going to take the hat off again. It's already getting too hot. I don't know how this is happening. <laughs> so the instructions were prep it, unwrap, you know, put it in the crisping sleeve, microwave for a minute and 15 on a high watt and 130 on a low watt. I did the minute 15 and it just, it's exploded. Now these are terrible for you with each one sandwich containing 410 calories only 22% of sugar, but 20 of your daily value, but 29% of your daily portion of fat. It's a treat, but the, I don't know. It's, it's weird. I, I'm not sure about it. Like I said, the filling just all came out, but luckily it, it like it, it, it's, it's solid filling. I'm going to try it on its own after I take a bite. I don't have much more to say. Like I said, I'm really worried about my costume, so I'm going to be very, very careful with this. Um, I'm just going to give it a try. Honestly. I'm just going to do it. Like I said, sometimes I don't have anything to say. Whoa. That was weird. That wasn't a voice crack. It was just like a weird choice I went with. Uh, let's go and give it a bite. Three, two, one. Snack attack. Ah, my phone made a noise. Um, huh, let me give the filling a try. Okay, it tastes like a really cheap cinnamon roll. I mean really cheap. This is a far cry from, you know, Cinnabon. Uh, sweet cream cheese filling and a flaky cinnamon crust. The cinnamon takes over. You know, it becomes very granular. Um, I said, you know, I meant to say, you know how when you have very bad cinnamon filling, it becomes very granular, the cinnamon takes over, it's not really sweet enough to balance it. And having a cinnamon crust with a cinnamon filling, probably a mistake. Yeah. I would have maybe gone with cream cheese filling and cinnamon um, outside. Like cinnamon, cinnamon flaky crust with just the, just like a, a cream cheese icing, maybe like a sweet, sweetened cream cheese. Uh, but this is, this is really not very good. Um, oof, I'm floundering over here. Okay, you, you better call me Ariel's sidekick because I'm flounder. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a very good one, but I think about Little Mermaid a lot. This is going to be an aside, but uh, if you've ever heard of the Little Mermaid musical, there's a scene where they're discussing how uh, Ariel is um, exhibiting new behaviors uh, that is abnormal because she's like falling in love. And they say she's even wearing brand new shells. Do you think there's an economy in Little Mermaid? And if so, you can find shells on the ground, you know, in, in, in their world. Like, if we made clothes out of rocks, would we pay other people to make that? Or would we just, like, go grab new ones? Like, I'm so confused about it. Because if you remember the Little Mermaid cartoon, their society is, like, similar to ours, but it doesn't make sense. Because it should be more of a, like, a barter and trade society. Because, like, what goods can they... You know what? This is all a, a huge aside. None of this matters. What this is going to get. A snack attack pass. Out of ten, three out of ten. It's really unenjoyable, and much like the Sweet Biscuits, which are somewhere over yonder, um, 
it's a sweet treat that I don't enjoy and I don't want to consume more of. Um, but the question we asked around here is not, wow, how crazy that, is, that Little Mermaid aside was really just like a pointless aside. No, the question we asked around here is, would you buy it again? And the answer is absolutely not. Oh, I forgot to say the price again. Ah, oh, this... And the location. Man, I'm losing my touch, people. And I didn't have much of a touch to begin with. It's over here. The price. Very, very interesting. Okay, everyone. Very interesting. This was purchased at Meyer. Okay, I hear you, Oven. Are you going to be in every one of my videos? You want a guest special now? Or guest appearance? I got a recurring character now. <sighs> no. Okay. So, yes, I hear you. I'll get to you. Can I just finish my video? I'm so close to the end. Ugh. These were purchased at Meyer for $1.09. They were on sale from $2.09. That's really cheap. That being said, still not worth it. Remember to check the Instagram and the Twitter. I will get to you. And I'll see you in the next one.